feels like my birthday. And that buoy is my present. Hope it's better than my last birthday. Dare I ask? My sister got me jeans that were mine for mm, about a week before they wandered off, never to be seen again. A mystery, I tell you. Did you not charge any of these batteries before you put the sensor in? It's not a battery alarm, it's the drone. Dolphins, always showing off. Hey, Andre, can you make your Manta drone do synchronized swimming? Guess we'll see. Let's log you in.
I just met your friends. Pretty low weight. Arena, do you think this one could be sick? I'm honored you believe I could tell from this distance that my knowledge of disease extends to all species. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you sure no one's tracking them? Nothing has turned up. You're right. That is definitely not a dead battery. Unless we're using whale sharks as batteries now. There's already a tag on it. Then scan the tag. Sure. Like, that was obvious. I'm leaving another tag. Much better than a dead battery.
Didn't you pick this dive location because you tracked the baby's pod out here? Uh-huh. I said they were heading in this direction. Andre, the buoy is glitching. I don't know what range you've set, but I think I'm hearing all the animals in the Pacific. Yeah. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. I don't know what kind of party I'm crashing, but pretty sure I'm gonna love it. What is happening? It's a bait ball. Humpbacks? Orcas? Very unusual, but everyone's gotta eat. Are you safe down here? I'll try not to be mistaken for a fish. Of course dolphins show up. Never like being left out of the action. Mm, they want leftovers. Good luck to them. They're up against bigger stomachs. Here they are! You were right, Andre. I guess I didn't just swim across the Pacific for nothing. Are there fewer than before in this pod? Or am I just getting faster at tagging? No, definitely fewer. But maybe the others are hunting. No, no, don't leave me. Well, the mother stayed with the baby this time. Okay, ready for playback? I've prepared a coder you can activate from your dive watch. Okay, first attempt to speak whale. Hopefully I won't offend her.
echo clicks. I could feel it across my body, just checking me out. First contact. She zoom scanned you. You have no idea what that felt like. She was looking right at me. Whew. You have no idea. <laughs> If people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish like one another? When you see fish interact with other creatures, like the octopus and the grouper, who go fishing together, they communicate in ways that we don't know what they're saying, but they know what they're saying. They've been on the earth for hundreds of millions of years. They've had a long time to figure out these close relationships. Sharks actually might prey on dolphins in a natural setting, but when they are presented with a bait ball, then they work together for this common goal to feed on the fish. We had very large bait balls spread over probably half the size of a football field. We had mobula, we had dolphins, the bait was shifting everywhere, animals were coming in, moving out, just moving so quickly. So we have some orcas around the bowl and also under. So everybody works together as a team, herding the fish. Males, female, everybody is doing this and they will eventually share the stunned fish afterwards, which is pretty amazing to see there is no competition. So everybody is working together and everybody is sharing the prey afterwards. It really takes a long time of being in there, watching the same species of fish to figure out these really interesting things that they're doing. So I think that there's probably a lot of really interesting behaviours out there that we haven't even discovered yet. Bad news. The drone we had tracking that intrusive noise, it's gone. Lost contact hours ago. I'll keep monitoring the hydrophones for that noise, but as of now, unless the drone resurfaces, that's all we've got. Bad news. The drone we had tracking... I'll keep monitoring the... Hey, Mirai. I assume you've heard that Andrea lost the drone. Yeah, bad break. Did we get any usable data from the drone before it went missing? You'll have to ask Andrea. He hasn't given me an update. 
I think he's upset that I suggested we'd still have the drone if we used it for its original purpose. It's crazy that we only have one mapping drone. If this were a space mission, we would probably have a hundred. You sound a little frustrated. Is that with Andre or the drone situation? Both. Harsh. Andre really does have good intentions. I just wish he wasn't so cold with me. Just because I turned my prior research into a successful biotech business, not every company is evil. I know. Those miners have him agitated. It's nothing personal. Hopefully that's true. <sighs> Was that a yawn? Did you get any sleep? Not really. Between the drone and staying up to chat with my daughter, I spent most of the night staring out of my cabin window at the moon. My grandmother loved to take me free diving in the moonlight. It was magical. It's like the whole ocean glows. Sounds like a fun grandmother. She was. Is. Uh, she's alive, but suffers from dementia. Mm, sorry to hear that. Thanks. Nana moved in with us after our mom died. I was 12, Ren was four. Are you and your sister close? Definitely. Yeah, most of the time. It's complex right now. Where is your daughter? She's at university in the UK. What is she studying? Pre-med. But she also has a passion for music. She has been playing in the same indie band for years. What's her music like? Hard to describe. I'm sure Sophie would love for you to check it out. I'll send you her latest single. Ooh. Isn't your sister also at university? My sister uh, took a break for a few years, but she's back now. There's a story there. Not my business. It's just hard sometimes for me not to want to take the wheel when I see her swerving. Does she want your help? I push her to do better, but honestly, I think that just pushes her away. You sound like me talking about my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, complex. Hmm. People are messy. And that's why I study whales. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better get prepped for our next dive. Yeah. Catch you later. Yes, of course. Hi, Mirai. It must be late there. That's okay. I'm on dive time. I showed Nana the highlights from your live stream. Did she recognize my voice? No. Maybe. She seemed to enjoy it, though. Are you doing okay with her? Kind of. You do this better. Did you want to talk about next semester? Ugh, when you get back. It's complex. You know, I can look at coming back earlier. That's crazy talk. Go speak to your whales. <laughs> Gonna try. Catch you later.
and so afraid of change. But those who are open, so the ghost just throws in the way. Yeah, won't you hit me up?